Okay. Hi, this is Eddie, and I play bass for the band Thrice. Yeah, it's it's sad to see bands kind of fall apart, or or not like. I mean, there's certain bands that we become friends with that had to stop because they couldn't deal with it financially. Like that's like such a bummer and especially if they're bands that have inspired us or like I don't know like there's this band No Knife that has always been like a huge influence on me and I know that they, they kind of like fell apart but that band is so amazing and I don't understand I don't understand what makes bands popular or not like <laughs> honestly I don't get it I wish I understood but I, I've officially given up. I don't, I don't even want to try anymore. Because sometimes I'll think something's like amazing. I'll be like, oh, this is gonna be huge. But then I'm like, wait, no, I like it. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be huge. Yeah. Yeah. So. Whatever. But. I think it. In the end, it's more. I would, way rather. know a band as a band that like changed my life or changed others lives and know that they're they're successful in that way than anything else like that's way more important like m way more important to me than anything like hot water music such an like the one of the best live bands ever and I know that they're they're doing reunion shows and the shows have been awesome and that band I feel like sh should be the hugest band ever and I don't I'm not even going to bother trying to understand I don't <laughs> I don't want to think I don't know I don't like yeah I don't like thinking about that kind of stuff. I don't... I... I... I'm... I feel... Like if people say that we inspire them or whatever, that's, that's like the best compliment I could ever have. But I don't like dwelling on it because it makes me feel awkward and weird. Like I don't... I'm glad, but instantly I'll be like, well, you should check out these bands that inspired us because that you don't want, you like, this is where you should be drawing these. But thank you, but no. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to be, I guess, seen as a band that made an effort to do things right. Um, I don't, I don't think that we're like, great musicians or anything I mean we try to do our best and I think that's all that matters like as long as we tried I know there's people that don't like us which is totally fine but I would hope that at least that they think that we're trying to do it in like a, a in a positive manner like at least they're trying <laughs> or something like that so um so be known as the band that tried <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Well, I just want to be known as like we worked hard. We tried hard and we're I don't know. Good dudes. I I I just want to be I don't know. The Alchemy Index was was it was a really fun project and it and it really pushed us in a lot of ways but I do feel that certain things were limited in that like let's say we'd make this water part and you could kind of feel it meshing like possibly with a fire song or or an air song that was the only thing of the project that I really didn't like because I feel like if those boundaries weren't set, we could have made some really, like, 
amazing songs that just didn't happen because there were those boundaries. But the cool thing about it is now that we've, you know, stretched ourselves out in all these different areas, like stylistically, I think the next record that we're writing, like, finally that that thing that we didn't allow ourselves to do will come back together and, and uh, hopefully it will be uh, stronger because of the project that we just did. How we do stuff now, we used to just practice over and over and over and over again, but um, now we actually do, since we all have like computers and stuff like that, we we do a lot of writing like individually like I play guitar Riley our drummer plays guitar like everybody writes these songs and um, what we'll do is we'll record them on like a program like GarageBand or do drums or synth on this program called Reason and then we'll we'll create all this stuff and then we'll throw it up on like uh, emails like email these mp3 files and all that stuff so um, We've been doing that for... Well, we actually just started sharing sharing them like a little bit before this tour and we have like... Of what you think the next one is? Tons. It's, yeah, it's basically like little demos, like whether it be like like riffs or just like a verse chorus or, or something like that. And uh, we, already have, we already have tons of ideas. So um, after this this tour is done that's when we're going to start getting together and and seeing where we can put things together or kind of making decisions on which ideas we think could really like come to fruition or whatever so i think when you do things that way the original idea and uh vibe that you wanted to translate is is already there whereas like if you're practicing and you're like hey this is how you play this part this is how you play this part okay and now we're gonna try and do it um sometimes your how you wanted the the part to sound will kind of get skewed a little bit but sometimes that's good too um and we do we do end up practicing and jamming stuff out but uh not as not as much as we used to I don't know, that we're a screamo band or whatever that means. Um, I think, I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't know what people think we are, but I definitely think that there's people that don't like our band, maybe never even hearing it never giving us a chance just because we got press as such and such type of a band which sucks but it happens I mean I don't know it's alright I mean if you don't like a band without hearing them you <laughs> that shows what kind of person you are I mean I think sometimes we a lot of what we write is reactionary. Like, let's say we wrote a certain song on the last record and something about it kind of irked us or we just didn't feel right about it, then uh, we'll definitely write almost like against that. In, or I definitely think that a lot of the the emo screamo thing that was all being publicized like we really fell out of being a band that would write like some heavy part with like a super melodic chorus or something because it's it's just like like a, a fad or whatever it becomes less special to me but I don't think we were ever I don't know I don't think we ever sounded like a lot of that stuff. I always thought we sound, sounded a little bit different. <laughs>